So at Charlie's suggestion I've arrived at the catacombs, but due to an act of vandalism they've been closed to the public, which is a bit of a shame. So I guess I better start thinking of a plan B and figure out where I should be going next. Now, I like a big pointless ferris wheel in the middle of a major city as much as anyone, but the one in London is so much better than this. This is exciting, and I seem to have walked straight into the middle of this Christmas market type thing, which seems like a lot of fun. You won't get me on that, far too scary. Well, isn't this pretty? and headache inducing. I managed to escape the fun of the fair and now I'm wandering down the Champs Elysees. Well, I've got to hand it to the French, they really do know how to do festive lights. Or possibly overdo them. This is a really long queue. I imagine they must be queuing up for something incredibly good. And... Oh. It reminds me of Oxford Street, only the pavements are wide enough that a really big crowd can fit down. It might be a bit longer. Oh, and there's a bloody great big monument at the end of it. And here we are, the Arc de Triomphe. It was uh, started by Napoleon as a tribute to his army and finished about 20 years later. So building standards have improved somewhat since Notre Dame. Now, there's a series of figures carved here at the top. And I'm sure they've got a very long and varied history and a series of stories about them. The most interesting thing is that my still camera can pick them up with face recognition. Okay, for some reason they've set up a bunch of gallows here. Maybe they're planning another revolution. Well, I'm back in the hotel room now. It's been a really long day and I'm absolutely shattered. One interesting thing about Paris is that they've got all these um, rental bikes everywhere. Now this would be a brilliant way to get around the city, but I can't even figure out when you're supposed to cross the road here. So tomorrow I'm off to Berlin, and I hope I'll have as good a time there as I've had here. It should be even more interesting because my German is worse than my French.